Ukrainian counterattacks on Kherson have failed, top official. The situation in the region is under control, according to Deputy Head Kirill Stramozov. Attempts by Ukrainian forces to break through Russia's defenses in Kherson region have been thwarted, the deputy head of the local administration, Kirill Stramozov, has said. In a Telegram post on Monday, Stramousov stated that everything is under control in the Nikolaev direction, despite Kiev's efforts to retake the region. He noted that Ukraine's forces had advanced southward along the Dnieper River to the village of Dudchiny, before taking a beating from Russian aerospace forces. The official admitted that the Ukrainians were able to advance a little bit, but noted that the region's defense systems were working and that at the moment, the situation is completely under control. Stramousov concluded by urging people not to give in to panic because of what they hear and read on social media. This is not Kharkov, this is not Krasny Lyman, we are holding the fence, he proclaimed. Russia's defense ministry has also confirmed repelling the attack, stating that over 400 Ukrainian servicemen, 43 tanks and 89 units of special military equipment were eliminated in the Nikolaev Krivoy Rog area. The announcement comes as Kiev's forces have mounted large scale offensives along several points of engagement with Russia. On Saturday, Russian troops were forced to withdraw from their defensive positions in the town of Krasny Lyman in the Donetsk People's Republic after they were nearly encircled by Ukrainian forces, which had brought in reserves and reached a considerable superiority in men and material. It has been noted, however, that the Ukrainian side has been suffering significant casualties in the offensive, having reportedly lost over 500 soldiers, 200 dead, 320 injured, as well as 10 tanks and 25 infantry fighting vehicles during the attack on Krasny Lyman, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. Kiev's offensive comes after President Vladimir Putin signed treaties on the accession of the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, as well as the Russian-held regions of Kherson and Zaporozhye, into the Russian Federation on Friday. The move came after the four territories overwhelmingly voted in favor of joining Russia in referendums held between September 23 and 27. Ukraine and Western nations have refused to recognize the results of the referendums and have vowed to never acknowledge the regions as being part of Russia.